Once you've populated asset network information, the next step you'll want to perform is to schedule a periodic vulnerability scan across those assets. Now aside from the obvious ability to deliver vulnerability reports of these assets to you, the major function in having the vulnerability management and assessment built into AlienVault, OSIM, and USM is the ability to cross-correlate, which essentially means that we can look at the information from intrusion detection systems and compare it against the vulnerability information from asset management and give a much better determination as to whether an event represents a real legitimate threat to a system. So let's go through now and schedule up a periodic recurring vulnerability assessment across our systems here. So we're going to go to Analysis, Vulnerabilities, Here's one I prepared earlier. We're going to create a new scan job. I'm going to name this one Daily Scan because I'm going to run it daily. The server, I'm going to use the first available one if we have multiple, or pick a specific one. Usually, if you have a network you want to scan that's very close to a specific server, that's usually the way to do it. Which profile? So there's different profiles of vulnerability scans, and this determines what particular tests are done against the target hosts. Ultimate here does absolutely everything, including tests for certain types of denial of service exploits that will cause the target systems to crash if they're vulnerable to these systems. Let's stick with the default for the time being. Schedule method immediately, once only, but at a specific set time, daily, a particular day of the week, day of the month, and then a numeric weekday of the month. Only scan hosts that are alive. This basically means it'll pre-check hosts are available with a, a quick ping check beforehand. Pre-scan locally. This means the sensor will do its own local Nmap test first for running services, and it won't try exploits against services it doesn't detect. Do not resolve names here, references to DNS re reverse lookups, where when it completes the scan information in the report, will it find the uh, host names for those IP addresses. We're going to leave that enabled. And then finally, our target selection. This is why we pre-populated our network groups beforehand. So we're going to go down, look through our networks and network groups. I'm just going to do the 192.168.1.0 slash 24 network named it testnet here, so we'll add that one. And at this point it gives us a quick configuration check. Can we communicate with the scanner here? Yep, scanner connection is good. Sensor is all allowed. Our settings are good. And we're going to schedule this daily. Beginning today, frequency every day, and we will do this at 3.15 a.m. All right, we're all ready to go. New job. Job is submitted. And then up here on the Scan Jobs tab here, we can see our configured jobs, both ones that have run previously, scheduled, and ones that are currently operating. The other settings here are scan profiles for determining what kind of vulnerability tests will be done overall settings for the vulnerability scanner, and then the threats database, which is a list of all the vulnerabilities that can be det detected and what the meaning of them is. Now scanning will take some time, so here's one I prepared earlier. Let's switch back over to the vulnerabilities tab. As we see, we've got one system here that's got scan results re returned. We can go through our vulnerabilities by severity, by which particular services, and then it gives us a top 10 of most vulnerable hosts and most vulnerable network segments. We can click through to here, get some information on these. We're all good. Now periodic vulnerability scanning is now operational. And if you wish to change or remove a scheduled job, go back to scan jobs, select the one you're interested in. We can either go through and edit it, disable it, or delete it. Let's just go through and edit it now. 
And there we go. We get back to the settings page. We can change all of the original settings for the next time it runs.